You know, there's never been a better time right now in this RV industry to make over $100,000 renting out a few RVs. Today, we're actually going to be talking about what it takes and how much it costs as far as expenses go. At the end of this video, stick around because I'm going to talk about one bonus that's an option that could help you in your RV rental business. So you're getting ready to start your RV rental business and you wanna know what type of expenses you're gonna have. Well, first and foremost, I'll tell you, if you're renting out RVs, a lot of times, yeah, they're gonna be going to full camp, uh, full hookup sites, but more often than not, you're gonna be doing some dry camping, boondock camping. So for us, when we got multiple units, one of our biggest expenses last year was generators. We had to buy seven generators so that when we actually take them to these concerts or these other venues where it's gonna be dry camping, we had to make sure that we had a generator for every single unit that we had. Now, some of these generators, I mean, they're gonna go from anywhere from, you know, 399 bucks up to 1500 bucks. You know, we've got anywhere from uh, champion generators, craftsmen's, um, we've got, you know, Furman generators. Um, and then you're gonna wanna definitely take a look at like what size of generators you're gonna need. You know, you're gonna need something that's gonna obviously power a 30 amp right and then from that you know you might have a 50 amp like we've got i think we've got two no one 50 amp that we have to have a bigger generator for and i got one that's a dual uh, fuel which propane and and regular gas can can use so um you know you want to take some of those things in consideration um, for us we decided just to kind of go with the cheaper version like as you see here we've got champion uh, we've got basically three three kinds of champion a Furman, which is kind of the cheaper end and then a craftsman um, and they, they ran anywhere from 400 to 500 bucks. So, um, so investing in, in generators is gonna be something that you're definitely gonna wanna do right out of the gates. So obviously to run those generators, you're gonna need fuel, right? So for us, we've got like 10 to 15 of these little gas tanks and they're anywhere from three to five gallon. And we provide one of these with every rental that goes to a dry camping spot. That's about three days or four days. So fuel obviously is gonna, going to be a big expense for us. It was always costing us anywhere from three to 500 bucks per weekend, um, just to make sure that all of our generators were full, that we had backup fuel, and that, that we could make sure that our renters had a good experience throughout the weekend, they didn't have to go and find something. And of course, we did charge them for it. So another major expense was propane. Obviously, you know, we got to make sure that our um, that our renters can cook while they're inside and they're using our units. And also when it starts to get cold, we don't rent out so much when it gets cold. But when we do, we got to make sure there's plenty of propane, that they're full um, so that the, the heater can run um, and so our renters can stay warm. Now, you can have anywhere from the, the five pound to seven and a half pound. Um, our motorhome or Class C has one built on. I believe it's a 10 pound. Um, but definitely uh, propane is going to be an expense. I've made a couple of short videos um, here on just some of the weekends where we've you know, had to load up anywhere from six to eight um, tanks to go get them filled up. We made a mistake one time where we um, just, it was, we first got our classy motorhome, we totally forgot, and we forgot to fill up our propane tanks in our motorhome. We went and it, they were empty. So we had to kind of make a quick stop on that. Okay, so a major expense that we had to invest is a website. So this website was through GoDaddy cost us about 250 bucks and as you can see here it's hooked up to our wheelbase pro which allows us to have all of our rentals all of our profiles all of our pricing everything that you see here it's a great um, tool for us to reserve to get email addresses contact information also to display our youtube channel all of our social media tabs all the details of our rvs who we are who all of those rentals is a uh, little blurb here about us on Outdoorsy. And then a lot of these videos are walkthroughs for our customers so that they can take a look at these videos and see if they want to rent them out. It's a great addition. We got a lot of positive feedback about that. And then as you continue to scroll down here, we made a video about our co-assignments. And then as you continue to go down, yes, everything that we provide, there's a video on that, how we clean out our units, which is a great video there my wife put together. And then what are our customers saying about us, our customer reviews. You know, this is great for our uh, existing renters and, you know, new renters to go to this and take a look at, you know, who Alar Valdez Rentals is. And then down here, you've got your affiliate program. So so it's no secret that when you're having to haul these units around, you've got to have a truck that can actually handle the weight, right? For us, we have two diesel trucks. We have a 2500 HD and a 3500 HD. 
and both of them take a lot of diesel. So as you can imagine, diesel is a very big expense, especially last year with these major price increases that we've had, which has been ridiculous. So not to mention the oil changes in these things aren't cheap. You know, I, 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 I want to say I took, I took uh, my 3500 HD in for a service, an oil change. With everything else that I needed to get done, it had over 60,000 miles, cost me $500. So yes, you get, you know, those expenses are gonna rack up for sure. And of course, new tires. When you're driving quite a bit, so literally our trucks are probably running every other day, if not every day, either picking up or delivering during the busy season. So our, our tires definitely have a lot of wear and tear. Now, these bigger tires last a lot longer and we have all-terrain tires, um, kind of some off-road tires too in some cases because we do go up hills and mountains around here. Um, tires definitely cost a lot of money. Okay, now here's the bonus one. This one is optional. I do hear some renters actually provide this stuff and we, we do, and I hear that some don't, right? Some people don't. So for us, as you guys know, we've made multiple videos on this. Here's one right here, check this one out but we provide everything that you need for any of your RV rental experience. So any of your, your linens, your towels, certain things like that. Um, a lot of those cost money, right? For us, we've been able to save a ton of money. We go and get a lot of our things from Goodwill. Um, we run it through dishwashers, we sanitize them, certain things like that. And then we go to Walmart. They've got those little cheap, real hard plastic, 50 cent plates, uh, bowls, you know, um, you know, silverware, the packets aren't cheap. My wife did a great video on, our, on a Walmart haul that we got where we basically got everything we needed, towels, everything that we needed for just under 200 bucks. So that's an additional expense. Honestly, in my opinion, that is gonna be something that is gonna allow you to make a lot more money because we get a lot of renters always asking, what should we bring? We're, we're packing for our trip, what should we bring? And when, when you let your renters know that they don't need to bring anything except their food and the clothes they're gonna wear, that, that renter feels so much more at ease. Well, there you have it. So if you wanna learn more about how to offset those expenses, check out this video right here.